Well, good morning and welcome to Ignite this morning. I think this is now the, the fourth session of these that we've run like this. Um, so we're not at church at the moment. Obviously, we're all self-isolating at home. Uh, we're doing some social distancing and I hope that that's going well for you wherever you are and wherever you're joining us from. Our challenge for this week is the teapot challenge. Now, I don't know if you've seen, but uh, Tom Fletcher has posted online the teapot challenge where you must make the shape of a teapot either way around. And then with your spare hand that's not the handle, you throw up a tennis ball, spin round and try and get the tennis ball to come through your arm before it hits the floor. Now I think you should take a look at the videos of me, Sam and Hannah trying it. And uh, why don't you see if you can have a go at home? Just to let you know, I did it on the first attempt. They didn't. But hey, have a go at home. Why not tag us at stmarys.youth on Instagram and we'll all join in the fun together. Yes. Hi, I'm Sam, and this is the Teapot Challenge. <laughs> teapot Challenge completed. See you there. Hi guys, I'm Sam. No. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Hannah, and this is my Teapot Challenge. No. Hi. Listen to the song. <laughs> I'm a spinning team. <laughs> <laughs> That's going in the video. Well, I do hope you have a go at home and I hope it keeps you entertained this week as we continue being shut in our homes. And uh, yeah, do have a go, do put it on Instagram and let's all uh, have a laugh and try this challenge together. Now our reading uh, for today comes from John chapter 20 verses 19 to 31. I'm going to retell it slightly, so if you want to read it in your own Bible first then feel free. And if you're going to do that you should pause the video now. Excellent. Well, let me retell you that, that passage then. So John says that the disciples were all together in a room. They'd locked the doors because they were scared of the Jewish leaders. And obviously Jesus has died at this point uh, and he's, he's risen and they've seen him. But he's not with them as they're sharing his meal. Then all of a sudden he's in the room with them. He just appears there and he says, peace be with you. And they're all amazed and they, they don't understand how all this is going on. Oh, Jesus wasn't here, now he is here. And, uh, and then he says to them, hey, peace be with you. Receive the Holy Spirit. Anybody that you forgive is forgiven. And they all think this is amazing, this is brilliant. But there's one disciple who's not there, Thomas. And when they tell Thomas about this later on, Thomas says, well, how can I believe this? I don't, I, I just, I need to see him. I need to put my hands on his wrists, on his side. I need to see the wounds. I need to see him for myself. And the disciples think, well, hang on a minute. <laughs> you know, we're telling you the truth here. But Thomas says, I need to see it for myself. And then later on, they're all together and they're all having a meal together. And Thomas is there this time. And Jesus appears. And he says to Thomas, here. Put your hands on my wrists. Put your hand on my side. Peace be with you. And Thomas believes that it's true. Thomas believes that Jesus is fully risen from the dead. And then the last part of our reading, John says, 
that Jesus continued to do many, many miraculous things. Too many to be written in this book. And I think that's a brilliant ending to our reading. What a wonderful way to end. Jesus did so many more good and miraculous things that he can't even write them down because it would take him too long. But hey, I'm going to put some discussion questions up on the screen. And feel free to pause the video at home, discuss the questions with those around you, or just think of the answers on your own. And I'll be back in a minute. Well, I don't know what you said in answer to those questions, but certainly if I was Thomas, I think I would have felt pretty much the same. It can be really hard to believe in something when you can't see it. I think we all know that, don't we? You know, if you think about gravity or electricity, you can't see those things. But you can see the effect that they're having. I mean, with gravity, I mean, I'm sat on this chair. I'm not floating around. We know that gravity exists. We believe in gravity. But we can't see gravity. The same with electricity. This light is on. And I can see that this light is on. And I know it's powered by electricity. I know that electricity exists. But I can't see electricity. And I think it's the same with God's love and the same with Jesus. We can't see God's love. We can't see Jesus' resurrection. It happened a long, long time ago. So for us, it's really difficult. But that's why we have the Bible. Because the Bible gives us proof that Jesus did rise from the dead and that God loves us. But also... We can see the effects that it has around the world. We can see it in churches. We can see it in Christian organisations. We can see it all around us. God's love is real. And that's the proof that we can see. So if you're struggling maybe to believe in the Easter story, you're thinking maybe it's a bit wishy-washy, maybe, maybe it didn't happen at all, try reading the Bible. Try reading all of the Gospel accounts. Try looking around the world and seeing the love of God displayed all across the globe. And that's where you'll find peace. I wonder what peace means to you. The word peace to me is, is a calmness. It's this feeling of no stress. And to me, that sense of peace is something that is really, really important. If I'm really, really stressed, all I want is just peace and quiet. It's almost like not worrying. If someone says to you, peace be with you, I like to hear that as, don't worry, it's going to be okay. Peace is coming to you. You can be calm soon. I wonder if you've ever thought about why in the Church of England we say the peace. We say, peace be with you, peace be with you, peace be with you. To me, that's the church encouraging one another to be calm, don't panic. It's like walking around the church saying, don't panic, it's going to be okay. Stay calm, everything's all right. And I think in this time, in this moment, what we all need is some peace. We need to not panic and we need to stay calm. Peace be with you. That's what Jesus said, and that's what he still says to us now. So we're going to have a time of prayer, and we're going to do it slightly differently. So uh, first of all, I'm going to say some things, and I want you to reflect on them. And second, I'm going to read a prayer from this book called Open the Gate, which is a book of prayers. And uh, I'm going to read you one of those, which is about peace. But first... Listen to these words and reflect on what I'm going to say. Maybe you're struggling with the idea of everything that's going on. You're really stressed and this situation is panicking you. Peace be with you. Maybe you're worried about somebody who's sick. Peace be with you. Maybe you're worried about big exams that you had at school and you don't really know what's going on any longer because the whole situation is a bit messed up. Peace be with you. Maybe you're unsure about where your future is going. Peace be with you. 
maybe you're really struggling spending all this time at home you really really want to get out and see your friends you really miss your family peace be with you now let's pray i'm going to put the words on the screen so feel free to join me as we pray together you lord are in this place your presence fills it your presence is peace You, Lord, are in my heart. Your presence fills it. Your presence is peace. You, Lord, are in my mind. Your presence fills it. Your presence is peace. You, Lord, are in my life. Your presence fills it. Your presence is peace. Help us, Lord, to know that we dwell in you and you dwell in us, today and forever. Amen. Now this week, if you're feeling stressed or if you're feeling anxious or if anything is going wrong, I encourage you to take a minute to think and to remember what peace is and try and find that moment of calm for you in whatever situation you've got going on. Thank you for joining us today and I will see you next Sunday for our next Ignite session. I hope you stay well and, uh, and I'll see you guys then. Bye.